We're going to pour the evapo rust in to the pan and cover the parts. Okay, so what we're going to do now is just uh, pour the evapo rust off and uh, take and rinse the parts, which is the normal procedure. Is rinse off the free iron and the uh, carbon that's on the parts of the DD rust. And then uh, we'll give you a good idea of what they look like. But even before we have rinsed them off, you can see uh, they don't have any rust on them anymore. This, this uh, bolt in particular was very, very rusty. Um, but everything had rust on it. Uh, and you can see parts that were plated like this uh, where the rust had ate out the plating. Of course, the plating is still gone. It's not going to magically make that reappear. But places where the plating had not been ate through, the plating is still there. So it, it will remove the rust, but it won't damage intact plating or intact um, paint if there's paint on it. Uh, the only thing that it will take off is iron oxide based finishes. So if you have an iron oxide based finish, evaporust is going to take that off. That can be a great advantage if you're trying to take the bluing or browning off an old firearm that you want to refinish. But you should also be aware of it if your tool has a uh, finish on it that you do not want to remove. Okay, we have got uh, the free iron and the carbon uh, washed off, rinsed off with water. These parts we did not dip back into evaporust or uh, put any uh, RP on them because uh, some of them are going to be painted, some of them are going to be preserved in use with oil since they are moving parts. And uh, so that the rust preventative part is being taken care of another way. But you can get about two weeks worth of rust prevention just by taking it. Once you've rinsed off the carbon and the free iron, you dip them right back into evapo rust and then let it dry. So these parts we have again removed the rust and restored the usefulness.